Okay, here's a quick video on how you use the universal axis to modify it for different versions of the printer. So you start with the simplified part files which are found if you go to D3D part library on the wiki. So D3D part library. Uh, go to the modules, the assembly index. So th these are all the assemblies that we have. So take the x-axis, for example, here's a small file, it's called the simplified CAD file, which is only 20K as opposed to like 6 megabytes for the original. So you click on the simplified file, you see it's 23K, click on it, download it, then open it up in FreeCAD. So here we go in FreeCAD. Um, if you want to make a different version of a 3D printer, you want to extend or shorten these axes, modify them in length, that's the main thing you're going to do and maybe flip the motor around or different things. So go into Draft Workbench, okay? Draft Workbench, then click one or two. You to click, uh, hit two to view from the above here. So now if you want to modify it by extending this, okay, so you probably want to do, first of all, you want to do view, orthographic view. Uh, so say you want to extend this axis. So use the move, move button. Uh, here's the move right there click on that and you can move this so you say you want to extend the axis great so we we made this longer now you need to extend the rods so take the rod double click on it it's actually parametric so you can exchange it change its length so from 12 in the properties uh, so there's a properties window right here instead of 12 I'm gonna make it like 16 alright there you go well we don't need to make it 16 make it about 13 or 14 yeah 14 is the right length here so there you go uh, you can extend the rod lengths and move the move the end carriage pieces end pieces uh, as you like to, to modify the axis that's it